Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to recognize at this time our state solo and ensemble participants this year. These are folks who earned a one star at district solo and ensemble in the fall and earned the opportunity to perform again in May at UW Parkside. And we'll just hold our applause to the end, please. Kayla Braun, Hannah Friesner, Sydney Jarris, Faith Kierzek, Sam Mims, Abby Robinson, Maxwell Reichardt, Spencer Reichardt, Katie Schneider, Alex Tolentino, Celia Trexel, Cora Trexel, Christy Wadsworth, and Zoe Weiss. A hand for these students, please. festival at UW Parkside, they give out a very, very limited amount of exemplary soloists for the day, and Muskego High School is home to two of them. So please step forward, Cora Trexel and Maxwell Reichardt. students from across the state audition to be a part of the Wisconsin State Honors Choir Project. The audition consists of performing a prepared solo as well as test and music literacy section. In April, the results are posted for the 100-member mixed choir and the 100-member women's choir. Most high schools in our state hope to send one or two representatives, but we've been very honored here in Muskego to regularly send three to four. This year, we nearly tripled this number as Muskego High School will send nine representatives to the Wisconsin State Honors Choir. They will spend the week in rehearsal at UW Green Bay with the nationally recognized conductor, and then in October, they will reconvene in Madison for a concert at the beautiful Overture Center as part of the State Music Teachers Convention. These are the following representatives. Megan Brantman, Megan Lambert-Skasney, Aiden Miller, Sam Mintz, Spencer Reichardt, Cole Schenebeck, Paige Thiesenhusen, Celia Trexel, and Christy Wadsworth. function without the tremendous assistance of the parents and the music friends. And because of that, um, it is appropriate that we honor the music friends and a person each year who has given exemplary effort and uh, through the years. And this person's um, contribution is, is exemplary. We are very happy to announce that Kathy Bozeal is the recipient of this year's Judy Wright Volunteer Award. Kathy's not with us here this evening. She was at the band concert last week and was recognized there on stage and, um, and, and all of that happened. Uh, so tonight, I just want to say to you that Kathy has very, very faithfully served Music Friends for several years as the president. She took on that duty, and you know what? She did it so cheerfully, year after year and just was very giving. She has been instrumental in really helping our cabaret program um, grow and expand. And I would just say that her enthusiasm and her willingness to work with everybody has, has just made her a terrific president. And Kathy, I know her son Aaron is here tonight. So Aaron, take this home to your mom. We are very, very grateful to her. Kathy goes you, everybody. designed to recognize someone who has had an impact on the entire MHS music program. It is awarded to a person who is in both band and choir and has made major contributions to both. Our 2017-2018 winner, Leanna Gedimer, has been a member of multiple ensembles in both band and choir. She auditioned into top groups upon her arrival at Muskego High School, including wind ensembles, Rally Cantanti, and Chorale. 
She has participated in marching band, playing a secondary instrument, and has been a strong member of the Pip Orchestra for our musical for the past three years. She is an unbelievably gifted musician, as was evidenced in her performance this year at Cabaret, playing Lieberstrom by Franz Liszt from memory on the piano. It was stunning. When she transferred here as a sophomore, we knew that we had gained an extremely strong musician. We will miss this, and Liana, I will also miss your enthusiastic high fives all day. <laughs> Please join me in congratulations. We just decided that rather than try to have them juggle that when they sing right after this, we'll have them get those in class tomorrow. I am so happy to present the Fred Waring Director's Award for Chorus to Katie Schneider. Katie auditioned into Corral and Chamber Choir as a sophomore and has, a major, and has had a major impact on this program for the past four years. Katie can constantly be looked to for leadership in her section as well as for specific musical ideas and insight. She is not afraid to try new things and jumps into them full throttle. For the past four years, she's graced our stage in a variety of roles in the musical, including the boisterous mother in Catch Me If You Can, the overworked, unappreciated maid in Mary Poppins, the one in a million Dolores Van Cartier in Sister Act, and the quick-tempered action in West Side Story. In addition to her presence on our stage, Katie has participated in national-level vocal competitions, winning the National Hal Leonard Vocal Competition in Musical Theater. This spring, she competed in the National Association of Teachers of Singing, or NATS, Vocal Competition, where she competed with students from around the state who also study voice privately. She won the regional level in the category of musical theater. This June, she will travel to Las Vegas to compete in the national finals as one of two singers selected from our seven state region. Katie, agree. <laughs> Katie made a special impact on my career as she was one of the first students I had the pleasure of meeting in my first few days here at Muskego High School. What I thought that day became more and more true with each of the past four years. Not only is this young woman a very talented and musical person, but also an incredibly caring and compassionate individual. Thank you for the past four years and we look forward to your impact in the future, both on the stage and in the classroom. You will make for a phenomenal choral teacher. I am pleased to present our second Fred Waring Director's Award for Chorus to a young man who has left an enormous mark on the Muskego High School Music Department. has been a member of the Chorale and Chamber Choir since his sophomore year. He is the musical leader of the Midnight Men, and he has his hands in just as many activities in our band program. Let me just say this. If you've got a job that needs doing, you best be calling Max, Mr. Maxwell of all trades. <laughs> Maxwell is an outstanding baritone, and he was recognized as such at this year's State Solo and Ensemble, where he received the Exemplary Soloist Award. He has shown his versatility and style as a frequent soloist, singing everything from Mozart to Luck Be a Lady. His versatility extends to the band where he is a standout trumpet player. You may have heard him play some of those impossible notes in West Side Story. On top of all that skill, Maxwell's style of calm and steady leadership and his total drive for excellence have meant a great deal to Corral, Chamber Choir, and the Midnight Men. This guy is so good when it comes to pitch and rhythm that he keeps me on my toes. More than any of that, we here at MHS are going to miss Maxwell's kind, uh, his kind, humorous approach to all that he does in life. This is what we will miss most. Terrific musical skills are great, but a 
Don't be the thing if you ain't got that swing. <laughs> Thank you for the swing you brought into our lives, Maxwell. So I have the pleasure tonight again, as I did at the band concert, to um, announce the Lee Jacoby Scholarship. Lee Jacoby was the choir director at Muskego High School for roughly 30 years, retiring in 1998. He was a charismatic teacher whose choirs consistently performed at an extremely high level of artistry. Mr. Jacoby and his work are well known throughout the state of Wisconsin, and we are fortunate for the strong tradition he established while teaching here. The Music Friends are happy to honor his work through a scholarship that goes to a graduating senior who plans to pursue a degree in music or a music-related field. Some of you got a sneak peek of this announcement at the band concert, and I am once again pleased to announce this year's recipient is Katie Schneider. You just heard all about the accomplishments and wonderful attributes of this young woman, but what you didn't hear is this excerpt from her uh, scholarship essay, and I believe it says everything you need to know about her. Quote, I believe I was born with this musical talent to give it back to others. For me, that means working directly with students and sharing my incredible passion with them. I want to make a difference. I want to be able to share, I want to be able to inspire people to go out into the world Find the beauty in it and share that with everyone who needs it. I think this speaks directly to what I have been taught as a music student at Muskego High School. Katie, congratulations again. best exemplifies the spirit and heart of the MHS Choral Program. This award is voted upon by the students. We are proud to announce the tenor bass recipient of the 2018 National School Choral Award, Christian Tomczyk. I was looking up the word passion in the dictionary the other day, and I came across a fine pencil drawing of this young man. <laughs> Looked somewhat like Olaf from Frozen. <laughs> if you were at Cabaret last month, you saw him sing Michael Bublé's Sway. You know what I'm talking about. The music lives and breathes inside of him, and it is incredibly infectious to audience members and fellow performers alike. I had the pleasure of watching him grow up from an exuberant young man who didn't know how not to turn it up to 11, to an older, wiser, still exuberant young man who still doesn't know how to set the dial below at 11, but in a very good way. Rehearsing is fun with this guy because he is not just singing the notes on the page. He embodies what he does and he makes it an expression of his total self. Some highlights for Christian include soloing in Ain't Got Time to Die with Corral at Disney World last year, playing the corrupt Officer Shrank in West Side Story, and then turning around and singing the heck out of a tenor solo in Mozart's Coronation Mass. What people didn't see was the immense amount of preparation that went into all of these performances. Chris, Christian comes across like maybe he flies by the seat of his pants. But behind all of that, he does a lot of hard work. He puts in the time. He leaves nothing to chance. Christian, we will miss your passionate, colorful personality around here at MHS next year. Thank you for sharing all that makes you so special with us for these four years. Our final award this evening is this 
Soprano Alto recipient of the National School Choral Award, which is Ms. Cora Trexel. Cora auditioned into Chorale and Chamber Choir as a sophomore and has been a strong presence in the groups for the past three years. As someone being recognized for exemplifying the spirit of our program, it only makes sense that this year she approached me saying that she had an open class period and would she be able to join Sorelli Cantanti, want to do more singing and making more music with them here today. And I happily said yes. <laughs> Cora is a member of the Latte Ladies, the student-led a cappella group you heard earlier, and has been the rehearsal leader for them this year. She has been recognized as a soloist, earning the exemplary soloist recognition Mr. Warner spoke of earlier. Her solos on our stage include the most recent highlight of the beautiful soaring soprano solo in Mozart's Coronation Mass. Cora has been a part of the musicals for all four years of high school and has shown her full range of characters, especially in the past two years, with the vastly contrasting leads of timid Sister Mary Clarence in Sister Act and confident Anita in West Side Story, a portrayal that was simply stunning. Cora, you have accomplished so much in your time here at Muskego High School in our choral program, but the greatest thing you have left behind is a sense of dedication to your art and the maturity with which you approach it. Thank you for exemplifying this to all of us. Please join me in congratulating Cora Trexler. First of all, a big thank you to the Muskego uh, Women's Club who helps uh, serve all the refreshments out in the lobby so that our parents can stay in here and enjoy the end of the concert. Also want to say, oh, let me get out my card here. Want to say a big thank you and an acknowledgement to our MHS stage crew. On lights, we have Trevor Brillhart. Up on the follow spots there are Ari Preut and Claire Olmquist. On sound are Elise Prangy and Duncan Rose. Our video switcher is Sam Shep. On deck are Tori Pascuti, Austin Dvorak, and Mr. Blake Weeding. Thank you to the stage crew and Mr. Dino, their fearless leader. We would like to invite you to the a cappella concert, which is tomorrow night at Muskego Elementary at 7 p.m. It will feature the Midnight Men and the Latte Ladies. Listen, folks, this is great family entertainment. Everyone from uh, very, very young to old can come out and enjoy this. It's going to be some great music. you got a taste of it tonight. They'll do several songs tomorrow night, and you can enjoy that. So come out to Muskego Elementary at 7 p.m. tomorrow night. Now I'm just going to ask my partner here if I 